I've worked in commercial agriculture for 35 plus years and over my years within commercial agriculture I was very aware of diminishing populations of lots of different species. We've always looked at our role as being custodians of the land that we hold and we have a really great opportunity here to, to really bring that to the fore. We love being able to walk through the beautiful remnant vegetation that this property has. Having groups of trees or remnant veg obviously protect parts of our pasture from heavy winds, equally provide some warmth during cold snaps. So we think there's quite a few benefits of having that interaction between both grazing potential, but also the ecological or biodiversity aspect. Producers shouldn't be concerned about having areas that would be termed locked up. We can really continue to operate as a, a commercial entity with these things in place, so that shouldn't be a concern for anyone. Local land services and land care groups have got great resources around what's available in terms of how to go about your ecological planning, but also provide lots of information around funding opportunities. And we really believe that people should get into this and invest some of their own time and a little bit of their own money and leverage all of those factors. More and more farmers are taking notice of the biodiversity that's on their properties and they're actively undertaking land management activities that support natural assets on their farms. Activities like fencing waterways and protecting native vegetation that's already existing, which can help their farm production as well. Other schemes such as biodiversity credits and carbon credits are gaining momentum and these things are starting to look attractive to consumers who are interested to know more about how their food's being produced and what practices are farmers using to protect the environment on their farm. So this is a great time for farmers to consider what natural assets they have and to look at ways they can take advantage of emerging markets. Improving the biodiversity on our farm is just as important as producing our beef and lamb. Farmers are aware and becoming even more aware now that there's a necessity, you know, and, a, and a, probably a more of an urgent need to change some farming practices and, and are seeing the benefits. Consumers also want some answers about how we're doing things. We've been fencing out waterways and remnant vegetation to remove livestock from these areas. We have some zones of snow gum which are becoming quite endangered in our area. So we'd like to preserve those from any further impacts as well as the fallen timber which creates habitat which is critical for a lot of species. By protecting them you're giving those areas an opportunity to flourish and you can see the water retention which flows through into our paddocks where our animals feed. We all don't want to be the reason species became extinct. We want to be the ones regenerating, getting a balance between agriculture and the natural environment. And you, you'll end up with a, a healthier and far more productive farm if you, you find that balance. My aim is to have a healthy property, a healthy farm, healthy animals. Having a complete ecosystem is part of that. We've fenced out areas and planted them and the shelter that's available even just for my animals, it's terrific. We've got, you know, linking habitat up and just the biodiversity that's sheltered within these fenced out areas. And I think, you know, we've seen benefits straight away. It's great. You realise you've got a healthy bit of land and you're contributing to you know, the broader landscape by providing this habitat and helping everyone, really. We couldn't have completed this project or even started without the help of the local land services at Braidwood. We had great advice regarding planning strategies and we've had a great success rate with our plannings due to their advice. We realise that not all properties are the same and that landholders and farmers are at a different stage of their journey when it comes to looking at natural assets on their farm. So local land services is here to help landholders source information and take actions which can help build healthier landscapes that benefit both production and biodiversity.